folks, uh, on the 19th day of my fast, uh, about 20 hours after I posted the last video, um, I broke my fast suddenly, unexpectedly, unplanned, and gluttonized myself for the next two days. Uh, just complete binge eating. I've never experienced anything like it. Um, just such a completely faux appetite, you know. I just wanted to eat everything. I wanted to cram my body full of all these different flavors. Anyway, I won't go into the, um, the gory details, but um, the the purpose of this video is twofold. One, to state that the, the fast is currently off. Uh, secondly, to say that I am still, that, uh, well, after the first attempt, I, I, I only got seven days, which, uh, which I just um, bettered by another uh, 12 days. And now I guess I'm heading for 21 days, but the purpose still being to do the full fast. Um, uh, I've just got to find strategies to overcome the hurdles that I face. Um, and then finally, so it's not twofold, it's fourfold. Finally, the other thing that I wanted to record importantly for me and perhaps usefully for others is the pitfalls and the, the two-edged sword that is dry fasting. As I've mentioned a few times here, dry fasting can be a powerful experience in and of itself, but it can also be a powerful um, help to stay on track with a water fast because you get sick of drinking water and you get a bit nauseous and when you don't drink and just stay quiet inside and read or do some light yoga or may maybe even go for a light walk in the morning in the cooler of the morning or the cooler of the evening and don't perspire, make sure you don't sweat. Dry fasting can be really good. But if you, as you go deeper into the, the wet fast, and I was, what, 18 days when I... Uh, took on what was going to be a three-day dry fast. I completely forgot the fundamentals. And that was, I'm coming off an antidepressant that I've been on in one form or another for many, many years. And the, the thing that gave me the confidence that I could get off the antidepressant was the, uh, the threefold, <laughs> three things, was the fasting and how it makes you feel lighter, the walking, the walking, that's key. Um, many tests have been done on um, you know, of blind studies where um, some are given unbeknown to them an antidepressant, others are just given the opportunity to walk each day. Uh, group A takes the antidepressant, group B does the walking and uh, you know where this is going. Um, there is a growing body of evidence to suggest that people who simply get out and walk uh, do just as well when battling with depression as those who take a, an antidepressant. So and that's one of the things that I have achieved over that, 21, uh, that 19 into 20 days uh, fasting is that I've gotten off Cymbalta which I was on for seven years, but I've been, as I said, I've been on S one form or another of SSRI, serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor for since about 95, so it's that, so over 20 years. And it was a big g goal of mine to, to, to get back to life straight up without the intermediary. Uh, of of uh, an antidepressant without the kind of gauze-like effect that it has on your uh, vision, both of the world and also your interiority. I think it kind of somehow, uh, well, it's a truism to say that it um, knocks off the peaks 
it fills in the troughs of existence and gives you a much more uh, st stable, sort of flattened out uh, experience of life, which of course is what makes them life-saving drugs when used in a targeted way for a short term. But anyway, I was one of the millions of people who worldwide got on them and stayed on them, just having accepted years ago that I'd probably be on one form or another until, until lights out. Until uh, this emerging thing about five, well, maybe ten years ago, so halfway into my 20 years on, on them, where I decided to get off them. A anyway, after that digression, to get back to the break of the fast, I'd forgotten that the walking was my mo the, the most, um, the sharpest tool in my kit for the, the best weapon in my armory. Uh, against depression. So the dry fasting, even though it had uh, certain very real benefits, was directly undercutting the, my ability to go out and sweat, to walk. To, it was inhibiting that walking, it was cramping it, it was putting conditions on it. Uh, and I think that I've learned, well, I not think, I know I've learned my lesson. Water fasting, for me, for if I'm going to achieve, when I do achieve this long fast, this full fast, is going to be uh, only with one day maximum dry fasts and never to the exclusion. If I ever get to the point where I can't go out walking because I'm dry fasting, then the dry fast has to stop straight away and I have to put up with a nausea instead. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, it's already nearly seven minutes. I don't want to burden you guys with this stuff, which can get... You know, I've looked at a lot of other videos of people doing this and <laughs> really in one way it is um, pretty... Uh, self-indulgent and narcissistic uh, in both those terms I would have to I would have to ask to wear both those caps um, obviously uh, or admit to those uh, to those faults um, but it will also provide some useful record for myself and I'm still hoping that it may just um, speak to someone Actually, to be honest, I really don't care whether it affects anyone else. It's, it's, let's put it down to a drug for significance. You know, I don't know which, uh, which, which one of those early 20th century psychiatrists, Adler, it might have been Adler, said that, uh, you know, Freud was wrong, it wasn't sex. I think Freud was right about more things than most people would, would be brave enough to admit, even if they knew. Uh, but Adler thought that Freud was wrong about sex being the main drive and said that a drive for significance was the main drive. And there's obviously got to be something in that. There's something that makes sense uh, that about... There is something sensible in, in, that, uh, in that observation. So, or something that's sort of obvious to introspection. Um, you know, moments introspection will tell you that that's... <laughs> what gets us up and keeps us going uh, a drive for significance whether we get that through our work or whatever so let's put it down to my drive for significance and uh, well have a good good year and uh, I hope your um, I hope your fasting goals work out and uh, uh, I'll try and inject a little bit more positive uh, energy into the next video which I'm thinking might um, be in about a week's time when I'm back into fasting mode again. Combining it with some walking along the National Trail, which could be interesting, the Bicentennial National Trail, because there is some country to die for just uh, 30 or 40 kilometers east of here, going back for, you know, um, 200 kilometers that way. and. Well, it actually goes for 5,000 kilometres right across the east coast of Australia, but I'm thinking that I might somehow incorporate the full fast or perhaps two or three 21 day fasts or two or three 14 day fasts, walking very slowly and camping um, very simply, not eating, you know, for not having to take food, I'll only have to carry water. 
Um, so I'll get back to you on that one. That could be interesting. And if I do that, I'll actually I'm getting a new phone, a new um, with, with a really good camera um, uh, cap cap uh, capability. And I'll take I'll bring I'll send I'll bring some really really wild shots and video snippets of some beautiful country for you to have a look at. Okay, see you next time.